Hello everybody, Angry Poncho here. We are back playing Earthbound. And we are about to do uh, what for me is the most intense part of the game, except for the very end. And I gotta be honest with you, I have not done a practice run of this at all. Uh, just like the rest of the game. I haven't done a practice run, I've just been looking at some maps and a couple hints online, but nothing too extensive, so I'm going into this without quite knowing exactly what we're doing. And we can use the eraser eraser to erase the eraser statue. Right, that makes sense. <laughs> Eventually. So we're, this uh, base, this Stonehenge base, is divided into three subsections. The first is the one that looks like this flashing psychedelic cave. Which I guess you could kind of call it like the bottom of the Stonehenge. This is actually like, you know, just the cave underneath Stonehenge. Hello. There's a variety of space age enemies we can find down here and the first is the Mook Senior. Uh, these guys, the enemies in this area at least, the the ones in the beginning areas are going to have about 600 HP. So you just want to ration out your uh, abilities. Just generally pace yourself, that's all I'm going to say, because this, this is going to be a long area and you're actually going to need to spend a bit of time here if you want your game to be complete. So let's just see how much damage we can do with all four of us. Uh, bashing and with Trev firing his bazooka. Eerie eyes. Oh, diamond eyes! Wow, that's. Whew. Okay, I believe Healing Gamma can heal diamondization. I think we learned that a couple episodes earlier when I finally realized that you could see that in the menus. But, uh. <laughs> ah, Shield Omega. That's good. We're gonna want that for the boss fight in this area. So I'm glad that he just learned that. Oh, look at Paula! Hey, you know, they say diamonds are a girl's best friend. Let's see, Healing Gamma should fix her up. Now I gotta decide if I want Neo or Ness to do it, so I think I'll just have Ness because he's got more psychic points. Let's see, no visible effect! I just used it on Ness! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't believe I'm still doing stupid crap like that. I mean, how far... What is this, like part 45 or something? And I'm still making mis this noob mistakes. Okay, ah, oh, which way am I supposed to go here? We can look this way. There's a door here. I don't know what's down in this other area. Let's see if I can get away from that guy. Uh, yeah, alright, cool. Well, there's two. Which way am I supposed to go? I believe one of these is optional. And the other... I think this is actually the way we want to go, so... See that guy? He's trying to teleport. Oh! Right into our party. Oh, this is a star, man. Alright. I didn't do that properly, but... Here's the star, man. This is our... We, I believe we encountered one of these at the very beginning of the game when we still had Buzz Buzz in our party. You guys remember that? I'm gonna throw in a little bit of freeze on this guy, actually, because I just wanna make sure that we don't go too easy on him. The bazooka is a pretty good move, though. So, let's bash with Neo. Let's see what we can do. I'm same, kinda trying to save Neo's uh, psychic points because if it comes down to it, he can do both healing and attack. So, if I need to use him in between battles or use him to get us out of a pinch, I'm, I'm basically saving him for that, sort of sequestering his abilities. That wasn't too bad, though. I, I feel like we didn't really take a hit from that except for the opening attack part. I'll see if we can get a better chance on this one. Oh, man, that was close. Oh, crap. Oh, we got him. Great. Okay, this that's what you want to do when you got a star man coming after you, is wait until right after they teleport, and then sneak up on them right then, because they don't actually walk around. They just teleport from place to place. And so that's what you're going to want to do, is just wait until they teleport, and then, you know, you sort of keep your distance until you see them teleport, and then you jump in and, and get the back attack on them. Because if you try and just walk up to them, you know, casually, or try to try to sneak past, they're going to teleport right into the middle of your party, like they did at uh, that first one did, and they'll get the back attack on you. So you got to watch out for that. Ah, Flash Gamma. I don't actually know what Flash does. I feel like I should look at that. Let's see. There it is. What does this do? We've had this for so long. Strong Flash that can make enemies cry, feel strange, become numb, or be destroyed. Ah. Often it will destroy an enemy in a single strike. Oh, nice. Alright, let's continue moving here. Oh, well, got stuck on somebody there. There's a present there, I'm gonna go for that. We'll take out the enemies one by one in this area. Man, that one was a close fight, too. Holy crap. This is rough. Well, let's have Trev spy on the star, man, just to see if we can learn anything about them. I'd be interested to see what they're weak against. Well, the freeze seems to be effective. Oh, it's solidified. Okay, great. Offense, defense, that's pretty good. Not actually weak to anything, but it seems like Freeze is effective, so if I'm fighting just one Starman, that's what I'm gonna go after. I think we can finish him off with just a couple 
Oh yeah, that's right. That's why he didn't get finished off in one round is because Trev didn't fire the bazooka. Okay. Oh yeah, but that, but that, those couple battles earlier that I said were tough. It was actually because twice in a row there was a battle where somebody was took mortal damage, and I managed to finish off the opponent before. I believe that's going backwards up there. I managed to finish off the opponent before the character died. So they actually need a little bit of healing here. I'm gonna use Alpha on Trev and Neo, as they both could use it. Let's put, use it on the right person now. Alright, there we go. So like I'm saying, I'm saving Neo's psychic points for later. Because he's got that shield ability that we're gonna want for the boss, and he's got Starstorm as well, so he's... Can be pretty, uh, can be an offensive fighter, and then once he's fired off a lot of his power, he can go, I believe up there is a Guts Capsule, uh, up this path. It's a dead end to a Guts Capsule, and I don't want it. I'm not gonna bother. Because it, it only increases your guts by a small amount, so not really worth it for me. Let's see what we got here. The Atomic Power Robot. Now this guy's got about the same health as the Mook, but he's gonna be a bit more dangerous for you because he's able to restore his uh, psychic points. Or, excuse me, he, he can use his psychic points to restore his health. He's got one of the life up powers, I think. So let's see if we can just take out the Mook in one round and then focus on the regenerative robot. Because I don't want to go after the robot and have the robot be healing itself. You know, so I don't, don't want to go to him first, because that would mean we have both of the enemies still on the field, and that means they're both going to be doing damage to us. So it's better for us to... You see, there he goes. He just restored the Mook's health? How did you even do that with fuel? What? That doesn't make sense. Okay, looks like we might have to go a bit more offensive on these guys. Uh, I think I got a PSI Caramel or two, and I know there's one later on, so... Let's throw down gaming just to get some damage on both of them. I'm gonna have Paula use Freeze on the Mook. And I might throw Neo to have a... Uh... Let's see, I'm gonna actually gonna fire that one at the robot. Uh, I'm gonna have Neo use just Thunder Beta, I believe. Well, you know, the camera doesn't cost that much more, so we'll just go with that. 16 is not too much out of 110. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot Freeze isn't... Shoot, I should have remembered that. We did that against the Mooks earlier. Freeze is not effective against the Mook. Wow, and apparently gaming is not effective on him either. Wow. Oh, look at that. Uh, Paula's got something on her. I think it's the... Oh, what's that pendant that she's got called? So I think that's what's protecting... It, what protected her from that freeze attack. Oh, man, that was bad. We missed a few times in a row there. Okay, this is getting tough. That robot's healing itself, and we're having a hard time taking out the, uh... The mook. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Paula can't move. Oh, boy. Alright, let's get that mook out of here. I just... I can't stand... Okay, good. At least he's healing himself. His HP was already at full, so that was just a waste for him. Come on, finish him off, Ness. There you go, that's how we do it. Alright, now we can focus on this one enemy. And, let's see. Let just use some freeze on him. And go for that bazooka. Hopefully we can take him out fast enough that he won't be able to restore uh, his health. 431 from Beta? Are you kidding me? They must be susceptible to freeze. Okay, well... That would have made the fight easier if I'd known that. Exploded in the bits. Whoa, whoa, okay, let's end the battle here. Uh, I don't want Paula to die. There we go. Wow, so apparently they explode when they die as well. I did not know that. Like I say, I haven't been through this area before. Now, I do... Before you tell me in the comments, Wait, don't beat the boss! I do know we need to get the Sword of Kings here. I, I looked up the, the stuff for Neo. That's how I know about this area. At least about the fact that we need to get an item for him in this area. Oh, okay, no enemies in that room. Nice. Okay, we need to heal. Let's not wander about with really low health. I'm gonna actually use Beta on um, Paula. I think Alpha on Trev, and then we should be good to go from there. We don't need that much healing. We got a pretty tough group here, so we're doing all right. I actually saw some fan art of these characters uh, yesterday, and it made me remember that they're kids. As like I, I had almost completely forgotten about the fact that they're kids. And so you just you just don't think about it. Whoa! He just teleported from one route to the other. You can't do that, man. Okay, let's get out of here before the other one teleports into our party. Okay, now, oh, there he goes. Got him, okay. So I so see you gotta grab him right after they finish teleporting. And now we're gonna get a jump on both of these guys. Awesome, I should make this fight easier. I can take out the Starman in one round, and then I'm gonna go for the robot. Alright, let's keep moving here. I'm gonna see if I can entice that Starman to teleport a little closer, and then see if I can grab him. He doesn't seem to want to come up around that corner. There he is. Whoa, 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 what was that? Neo just realized a new power. I think it was healing Gamma. Check that out, what does it do? Okay, so... 
or Omega, excuse me, we already have Gamma. So this revives a friend who's become unconscious. What does Omega do? In addition to it, it revives a friend and maxes their HP when they're revived. Nice. 38 psychic points. That's expensive, though. But that would be really handy to use in the middle of a boss fight, wouldn't it? Now you got your character back and they're ready to fight. Okay, let's get a little farther in here. These battles are taking a long time. I don't know how long this video is right now. Alright. Yeah, it seems that... Uh, okay, okay, the way to go take out those robots is to go after them. You two-shot them with Paula's Freeze Beta and the Heavy Bazooka. That takes them out right away. They don't even get, a, they don't even get an attack off. For the Starman, all I'm doing is basically the same thing. Freeze Beta, Heavy Bazooka, and then ha just have Neo and Ness bash. So there goes the Bazooka. Fire the Beta. And that, that won't finish off the Starman. Oh, well, it did. Wow, okay. Oh, right, Paul, before I add Paula with bashing. So as you can see, that combination, the, those two, you're using up Paula's psychic points, but you're not going to need her in the boss fight in this area. Oh, this well, we do want to take this little break off here, because it leads up to a l cup of life noodles, I believe. Yeah. Life noodles! Neo takes it. Alright, cool. It's alright for him to have that. I'm planning to keep him alive. Come on, give me a back attack. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, there's two now. Alright, taking out two Starmen at once. Let's see how we can handle this. Oh, man. Well, I know I can two-shot one of the star... two of... okay, so let's have Paula use Freeze... well, would it be better to go with Thunder to try and hit both of them? I guess we should focus on one and then the other. So let's have everybody go after A to take him out. So we'll try and see if we can two-shot him and go from there. So I have Freeze Beta go down, I have Bottle... uh, not the Bottle Rocket. The Heavy Bazooka... I, did I ever mention that the Heavy Bazooka does the same amount of damage as a Super Bomb? So, it's basically, having the Heavy Bazooka, it's like having infinite super bombs. <laughs> so, that's pretty nice. We can, get we can go before this guy. We could finish him off without taking a hit. I think we will. Good stuff! Got the back attack, won the fight without taking a shot. Er, without receiving a shot. Without being hit. I mean, we took a shot because we fired a bazooka, but still. Whatever. So we're going to continue through here. Head down to the right. That's basically how you're going to get through the whole area. Just go down to the right. You'll, you'll head in the right direction. Let's see if we can get that star man to come down here. Hello. Back attack, baby. You know it. Alright, let's keep moving through here. I'm trying to get to a certain point before we stop the video. and I think we're almost there. This is going to be a two-part dungeon because it takes so long. And because I need to do some off-screen grinding. Hello, star man. Uh, wow. That was nasty. Um... <laughs> I'm not going to show that fight, but I just, I just have my first encounter with a Starman Super. Don't worry, I will be showing them shortly, but I didn't show that fight because I didn't bother talking in the beginning of it, and I want to show the Supers by themselves. You're going to find more of those robot types out here, and you're also going to find more Supers, so try and get, entice them to teleport, and then get the back attack if you can. Alright, so here's a Super. We get a chance with the opening attack. We'll go for the Bash. Alright, so the reason the supers are important here is because we want... I want to see if I can take it. No, just bashing. Because Paul's going to run out of, of psychic points eventually anyway. So, basically you want to take these guys out as best you can. Because they have a 1 in 128... Well, they have a 1 in one, 128 one chance. 1 in 20, one in 128 chance of dropping an item called the Sword of Kings which is Neo's ultimate weapon. It's actually the only weapon that you can equip on him. Up to this point, he's been using his bare fists to beat the pulp out of any enemy that we run into. But, hopefully, we can get lucky and get the enemy to drop a present, and that will be the Sword of Kings once we finally get around to that. Now, one thing you should note is that if you run into two enemies at once, the game will randomly pick one of the enemies, and then it will run the odds on that enemy dropping an item. So it's not like running into four super supers at once gives you more of a chance. It's still one in 128 because you're still only going to have one of them get picked to be the enemy who might drop an item. They don't stack up. So if you had like two different kinds of enemies, like a robot who drops like a bolt or something, and then a super who drops a sword, you, it, it, the game's going to pick either one or the other, and then it's going to roll the odds on that one enemy, and either that enemy drops something or it doesn't, and it doesn't even give the other ones a chance to do anything. So. When you're going for the Sword of Kings, you want to get one super by himself, take him out as fast as you can without taking any damage, hopefully, and then... Come on, do it again. Oh, crap, there's like five of them over there. <laughs> the 
I don't want to go that way again. Ugh. Alright, so I guess I'll show one more time fighting these guys. I'm just going to bash with everybody. And that's basically going to be my strategy for taking these guys out because... Wow, we actually need to heal. Um, crap. Ooh, this isn't good. We're being near death. I'm going to bring Ness back up because he's more important than Neo right now. And if somebody dies, I want it to be Ness who restores them. So, And, oh, smash attack. Nice. Good stuff. Every time I, I beat one of these, I'm going to cross my fingers, like, drop an item, drop an item. Ugh, nothing. The reason we're headed off to the right here, this isn't a required area, but over here you can get the broken harmonica, which is uh, a really nice weapon for Jeff. He has to have an IQ of 55 to repair it. Alright, and so, that is going to be the end of this video. His IQ is 56! Awesome, he can repair that next time we go to a hotel. Alright, so his IQ is 56, etc. Why did I, I just said that? Why are you saying it twice? What I wanted to say was, so this is going to be the end of the video. Off screen, I'm going to grind until I get the Sword of Kings, and then I'll come back, and, you know, that will be the start of the next video. So I'll see you guys hopefully soon. I'll have to just <laughs> go crazy. I may use save states to do this. I haven't decided yet how, how I want to handle this, because... Actually, you know, I'm going to film this episode tomorrow, so why don't you guys leave me a comment? I can either do it without save staged, which means I'm going to fight a whole bunch of these guys and gain a bunch of levels and then hopefully get the Sword of Kings eventually. Or I'll do it with one save state, where I'll save right before I'm about to fight a guy, and then as soon as I load the save, I'll immediately get in the battle, and it'll roll the odds for me again. So I can do it like it's only one fight, or I can do it like it's like a hundred fights. So, do you guys want me to get all the experience and the Sword of Kings, or just get the Sword of Kings and not be overleveled? So leave me a comment and let me know, because I really do want to get you guys' opinion on this. So, uh, thanks for commenting, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Earthbound.